video I just made and a video before it, I said, this will be the last episode. But I don't think this is ever going to stop. I mean, I just, I just keep building new things. So just be aware that I don't think it's ever going to end. Um, so, yeah, I don't expect it to end anytime soon. Uh, anyway, I have built one of the biggest structures I have ever built, like, ever in this whole world. And I'm really excited to show it. And we're so, if you want to see that, then wait till the end of the video. Anyway, anyway, there has been a lot more going on to showcase. Um, first of all, actually, I have to get you ca uh, ca caught up. So, there is a game called Nimbatus, is where you make, uh, make, make, like, make uh, drones and you fly everywhere. And in, um, in the campaign mode, when you're done, or when you're finished with the campaign mode, you get the warp drive because the corp, the corp, which is the enemy, basically in the game, has taken it from you. Um, so my my theory here is that they're mad and they want the, the warp drive back. So they have came to our Minecraft world in search of the warp drive. Okay. Anyway, this was the first thing they they shot a laser turret, kind of a warning shot. So we shot them back with a cannon. Then they I should turn the render distance up at least a little bit. chunks and that's better still still won't reveal but i can see that so they built an hq and then they launched a cannon now actually the cannon was fired at the space the space the the space of something space the the biggest build i have made and um it hit but it but they were deployed and had the right shield before it hit okay we'll get on to that later but anyway there was a, a uh, there, there's a bu they made a bunker, and if you go inside, you can see you can either fire or eject. So let's fire, and then let's eject. Oh, it's a little bit, it's a little bit wonky. Can't get out. And there it goes. <laughs> um, oh, that went again. Anyway, this is also kind of a really cool mini project. So we were, we were sick and tired. So we uh, also they made a turret, and so we launched a missile into the turret. We made a little camp here. I don't know why we have a why we have a like a bath. It's like it's literally winter. I don't know what, so I don't know why we have that. Um, and then we have this kind of Death Star thing, and it and it shot down and it shot down and blew up the HQ and the turret, and and, and talks is revealing some of the cauldrons, uh, some of the base. It's actually made of cauldrons, and uh, I use I use the I use a, a well-known trick where you put a sea lantern, and then it looks like it's framed like that. But most of them got blown away by the blast. That's one of the benefits of making a bunker, though. Anyway, the can's still alive, though. So the latest update is they made a tank. Oh, also they had a flying they made a flying saucer too. Okay, now on to this. This is my airport. Uh, I, I made it quite a long time ago, actually, and I have these directional lights, which basically what they do is they retract, and then they come up in like a circle. So like, a, like so they go like retract, 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 and then like extend, extend, like retract, extend, and retract, extend. And so then it looks like the light is actually spinning around, kind of like on runways. Anyway, here's the main build. So we have some sandbox game kit redstone here. Now I I did some fancier redstone over here, but for some reason it doesn't work on the inside. So we'll just ignore that. So you push this, and then it opens a corridor. Now, hint: this was designed by me. This was this, I didn't copy off the design. This is some this is some sandbox game kit redstone. Anyway, for some reason it doesn't really work on the other side, so I don't know why that is. Anyway, we have a um, plane here that has been constructed and is getting rolled away. Now this plane is under construction and now it's done, so it will get rolled away the same, uh, in the same way. Then we have this hangar door open and it will deploy it onto the runway. So what happened is they, is the corp made a flying saucer and deployed an energy bomb onto our, onto our super, our super, our super cool, uh, uh, like on walls, like fort, 
sport plane, <laughs> like jet fighter or something. Uh, and you could build a mine cart. And you can actually get in it. Anyway, so uh, we fixed it with a few extenders. And also we're helping in the, in the corp war. We need a beacon and a few turrets. This is also something as just a sword I made into a rock. I don't know why I made it. It just looked cool, so I just did. Not much explaining there, but here we are. At the biggest the biggest thing I have made. It is a space elevator. If you don't know what a space elevator is, it's basically where you have an elevator, but it goes all the way up to space. And we have is like a super high tension cable made of diamond nano threads or carbon nanotubes. They're the same thing, just in different places. And, and you make a giant cable and then a little elevator goes all the way up into space. So I've made that, except it doesn't use an elevator, it uses something a lot more fancy. Also, I've discovered this. You can do cinematic mode. Combined with F1, cinematic mode and F1 can really get you. Actually, hang on. Pause. Yeah, okay. And I know that looks kind of weird, but then we zoom out and boom. That is the best cinematic shot ever. Now you can turn cinematic mode off then F1 mode off, then fog back to normal. Yeah, okay. So how it works is, well, first of all, so here we go. There's a ring around, and then there's these kind of staircases leading to the inner tube. And then there's these, they're, uh, in castles, they're called flying buttresses. Basically, they support the load, but they just look really cool and modern. Actually, a few things up at the top. So if we go in, we can be going to the gate. I also made a space tech logo. Space tech is the company that made the space elevator. What you do is you go in, and then there's a little TNT player launcher. So you, you, you close the door, please. You deploy the TNT, and then you just push up against the wall, and then you get sent up into the space station. There we go. Oh. Okay, here we are. Okay, so we are in the space station. Uh, there's some space milk, and then in the brewing stand, uh, I'm really proud of this, is we have potion of space sight, which is night vision, flash of sight, night vision, flash, and then potion of parachute, which is slow falling. Okay, and then we have this little compartment that goes down. It isn't filled with anything now. And the great thing is because there's water down there, you can just fall back down. Now, I won't be doing that not right now because we have a few more things to showcase. Also, there's a space cow up here. I don't see that space, space milk. And then we can do satellite on and off. And then there are some flying shops. There so, we have some flying shops, and, they, and, it, and it's, the, it's the satellite and space station shop. So basically, it's space, uh, so space tech copyright, I'm sure I forgot to pick a spot and reload it there. So you can buy a LADA long distance antenna hub. This is the LADA. And then there you can buy a MRS, which is a multiple relay system. And then you can buy a 5x5 space station segment. Right here. Now, this might seem a little pricey, but this is how much it costs two diamonds per satellite. But keep in mind that we have to build these in the air, and you can build them in the air wherever you want. So for the for the LADA long distance antenna hub, it's two diamond. It's two diamonds. Uh, I I also found out name tags look a lot like price tags. And then for the space station segment, one one diamond, and for MRS, there's also one diamond. Then we move on to the second space station, uh, a space station and 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 a uh, satellite shop. So here, so here we have our even bigger satellite. It's the, it's the Horal. Now, this is just how the abbreviation turned out. It doesn't turn out too well, but it's a high orbit, long range satellite. After a purchase, pick a spot and reload there. Space there, copyright. And then there's a BDS Blackstone delivery delivery uh, satellite. Also, I've been I've used some other techniques to keep things interesting, like this hopper. Clock, maybe put something. Oh yeah, there's bamboo uranium. Oh yeah, 
I forgot about that. Hang on, is that in the is that in here? I forgot about to put the uranium. Uh, I need bamboo. We'll do it later. <laughs> um, and then there's a 16 by 7 cheaper space station type thing. Now this is pretty pricey. I know if you look up by it's like that doesn't look like too much glass. It's actually quite a lot of glass. It's it's like three stacks of glass. So it is a fair three diamonds per segment, and then uh, three diamonds per per total satellite satellite, and then two diamonds per BDS satellite. Now hang on. Uh, so here is the tubular space station segment, the sixteen by seven tubular space station segment, and um, basically uh, what it is is it's just a tubular space station segment and. And it has a brewing stand, a little stand. And there's a there's a water bottle and some blade powder in it. Then there's then there's four chests. And that's it. And there's, then there's the glass shells and the sea lanterns. And the sea lanterns are quite pricey too. And then we move on to the the space dock. Now I, I this isn't like a shop yet. It's just like a space dock. So here we have our um. You know, there's space ships, and I actually made a really cool discovery. If you shoot lingering potions, it kind of looks like an engine running. I flipped this lever, both of them will turn on. They're filled with lingering potions of swiftness, so you get swiftness, and you also, it just looks like the engine is on. So, now I have swiftness, so now if I go up, it kind of looks like the engine is on. This is my personal engine design. See, it kind of looks like the engine's on. Anyway, here is the actual space dock. Um... You can do take cards and materials, resupply, which is like fuel and like food and stuff, and send spaceships off. Um, off, uh, so we have just this kind of cup thing that holds it with this magnetic field or something. Um, and that's kind of it. But, but I think this will expand quite a lot. Oh yeah, and we have a solar panel, and the bottom actually looks pretty cool because I learned about the slab ships. Anyway, that's it, and... There will be another ep there will be another video like this, I think. And anyway, bye.